the economy struggling and many of us still having trouble making ends meet at home, it's unusual that the stock market is at an essentially an all-time high, or is it? While many are waiting for the economy to improve, it appears that the stock market investors aren't waiting at all. To try to make some sense out of this, we turn to U.S. Bank senior equity strategist Jim Russell for this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360. Jim, good to see you. Good morning, sir. What is U.S. Bank's view of this country's economy? Slow growth, right? It is slow growth. In fact, Brian, if we had to put a word on it, the word would be fragile. Uh, we think that right this minute we are uh, experiencing the lowest growth for 2013 with a ramp up in the second, third, and fourth quarters we move through the year. But I will tell you that there are probably risk in the system that we'll speak to in just a second. A couple of different things that I'd like to point out, and we have a graph that maybe shows some of the history there of the GDP growth that we've experienced in the last five years. You can see from the graph uh, the experience of the financial crisis and, uh, of course, the slow growth kind of square root recovery that we're experiencing right now. Last year, 2.2 percent GDP growth, which is not not fast, and we are looking uh, all in for about 2.5 percent GDP growth in the United States this year. But probably uh, the most important thing that I would bring to the viewers this morning would be we feel like the fourth quarter will probably be about 2.75 to 3 percent, again ramping higher as we move forward. Very interesting graph that really shows what's been going on. So if growth is slow, what about the stock market? I mean, it hit an all-time high this week. It did, and uh, one of the things that uh, uh, the stock market uh, uh, provides is a forward-looking view. There are several things to be excited about. Number one, many people don't know that GDP in the United States is at an all-time high. Corporate profitability, an all-time high. Dividends paid to investors, an all-time high. Some of the other things that I would point out are also listed on a graphic that I'll call up in just a second, and that is uh, a, a few things that I'd point out would uh, maybe uh, go to uh, the fact that uh, the Res Federal Reserve is extremely active and a big part of the stock market. Uh, last year, that was uh, certainly the case. The stock market was up 16 percent last year. It is up 11 percent plus uh, since mid-November to current, and it's up 6 percent year to date. Global growth is improving. It's not just in the United States. Uh, uh, China, Southeast Asia, Canada, Mexico, every area except for Europe is improving in terms of its growth. I mentioned just a minute, profit growth strong and improving. 4% profit growth last year, between 6 and 7% profit growth this year. Again, a dividend growth profile that looks like about 7 to 9% this year. Higher dividends, higher profit growth, low inflation, Fed helping. All right, Jim, finally, in your view, what are the risks involved in the capital market in this year ahead? Yeah, there are a couple. Uh, uh, clearly, front uh, and center would be Washington. And in fact, between now and March 1st, we'll get a lot of talk in the media. Some of the, the, the parties are certainly differ on the sequestration cuts. That represents $85 billion in, uh, in spending cuts by the federal government between now and October 1st, and another $110 billion in spending cuts possibly for next year. Those issues are unresolved. Of course, we don't have, uh, uh, we, we hope they don't happen, uh, but uh, if, should they happen, that means jobs, and we, we don't want uh, to see that happen. So uh, we look forward to uh, maybe in future programs detailing what's at stake there. The second thing would be the Middle East. Uh, we think that Syria and Iran represent huge uh, destabilizing issues in the Middle East, uh, military movements uh, possibly, and those also mean higher oil prices, which uh, of course mean higher gasoline prices, not what we want to see there. Always a big question mark in the Middle East, more now than ever. All right, we look forward to future updates, Jim. Yes, sir. We appreciate you and U.S. Bank. Thank, Thank you. you.